Before the referendum on September the 18th, consider three things. 1. Are we treated fairly as part of the UK? Scotland spent 22 out of the last 35 years being led by a government it didn't elect, and there is a strong possibility that as part of the UK, our next government could be a Tory UKIP coalition. Is that fair? As part of the UK government, we have had most of our public services sold off through privatisation. Scotland's missed out on billions of pounds of public spending due to private deals brokered by MPs, peers and businesses. The six main gas and electricity companies have made over £4 billion in profits since just 2010. Is this fair? The House of Lords is the second largest unelected chamber in the entire world. Whose interests do they represent? Yours? Unelected, with vested interests in private, sometimes unethical businesses, is that fair? The truth is, the UK is not a fair place to live. It is the fourth most unequal country in the world, where the gap between rich and poor has never been greater. So too, is the UK a peaceful nation, free from intimidation? In 2012, the UK spent over £40 billion on war, over ten times as much as it spent on public health that year. Trillions have been spent fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan, over a thousand British soldiers have been killed since 2000. Scotland also harbours Trident, Britain's only nuclear weapon system and Europe's largest. Despite widespread public opposition and costing the taxpayer over £100 billion, the UK government refuses to scrap the system. And recently, we have been subjected to one of the biggest media fear and intimidation programmes we have ever seen, financed mainly by money from government donors. This network has went to great lengths to undermine the democratic referendum using conjecture to bully and manipulate the public via trusted and familiar formats. In the UK, war takes priority over welfare and intimidation is used against the public. 3. Is our future secure in the UK? Austerity, public sector cuts, privatisation of the NHS, 100,000 children in poverty, food banks, recession, a Tory UKIP government, broken promises, our future in the UK is not secure. What if we were an independent country? Could Scotland be fair, equal, peaceful and secure? The answer is yes. Oil will run out, but why focus on oil when it's estimated that Scotland's unique climate could provide a massive fifth of Europe's entire wind, sea and tidal energy? This means Scotland could pave the way for a cleaner, greener future. And with booming tourist, technological and food and drinks industries, Scotland's already the 20th richest country in the world. This September the message is clear. You can make a difference. We can build a fair democracy again and make the most of our country's wealth. Let's choose to live in a fair, peaceful and democratic country.